Do you have no friends? Are you wanting to make some, but you can't because you religiously worship Pokemon cosplay? If you answered yes to any of those two questions, then I introduce to you the product to make all of your dreams come true, besides changing gas prices and COVID extermination. Introducing the world's first ever cloning device. Concept created by lab technician Paul and chemist expert Crayonic, this device allows you to create and duplicate living versions of yourself inside a virtual world. I actually already invented that JMT. I am calling it the Metaverse. <laughs> Our team is the first ever to create such gear and have plans on development for the near future. Let's hop right into the description portion. Hey guys, what's going on? It's GMT and welcome back to another STN video. This is going to be a little bit different today because I've never done a video like this before, but it's not really going to be covering something inside of STN already. What we're going to be covering today is a concept item that someone had for STN. I was in a random public lobby and I met up with these two guys, Paul and Crayonic. And we both went ahead and added on Discord and made a little GC because they had a concept gear that I thought would be very, very interesting if added into STN. And it's called the Illusion Wand. Of course, the name could be changed in the future. Okay, Illusion Wand does sound a little bit jiffy. That's what it is for now. Okay, that's what it's called for now. It could definitely be called something else. It has to deal with cloning yourself. Ah. I don't know why I'm looking at you right now. So we made a GC. We talked about the concept gear. We talked about what it would do. What if there was like a merch version of it? Cooldown times, like the ability, everything. We talked about everything. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's talk about what this gear would exactly do. So the Illusion Wand concept. By the way, this is a concept gear that Paul and Cryonic have both came up with. Give credits to them, okay? I'm just further expanding on this topic and actually created the merch versions for this thing. So the Illusion Wand, the normal gear without being a merch version. The cooldown time for it would be 90 seconds. And again, all of this is going to be just completely rough draft. Okay, brainstorming here. But cooldown time, we came up with about 60 to 90 seconds. The Illusion Wand, once activated, will make three clones of yourself and send them out the direction you are looking. So once you activate this Illusion Wand, you'll have three clones of your avatar inside of the game that just fly out to the direction that you are looking at. These clones will create breathing sounds like normal survivors, but they can't be detected. And they will stay in the map until the slasher actually actually hits them and when the slasher does hit them they'll like glitch away so all of the clones will be a one hit and then they'll like sort of glitch away like you know it was i just hit my mic i'm so sorry like there were a sort of you know glitch in the matrix or something like a glitch in the game they'll sort of glitch away when the slasher hits them so basically this gear will just make versions of yourselves and it will kind of trick the slasher it will make breathing sounds we did think of some things that would go ahead and like well what if i'd use this gear over this gear they're like the same thing sort of but this one's way more op we kind of went ahead and we thought about that a little bit this isn't really like an audio player because an audio player will last until the gear just goes away these clones of course can be hit and then they would go away so the slasher can kind of control whether or not this breathing can actually go away but with the audio player it will stay in the game until your gear eventually recharges or goes away and with the audio player you can place it wherever you want with these little clones they will just kind of be walking all over the place is that a better version of the auto player you guys decide down below that is what we came up with for the normal gear of the illusion wand now we came up with some merch versions i have three separate merch ideas here and if you guys have any ideas on merch versions as well leave them down below i'd love to see everyone's opinion on this i'd love to see everyone's like ideas on this as well because this could be a very cool item in stn so let's go ahead and start with the first merch is version here the cooldown time for all of these by the way are going to be around 120 seconds i'd probably say 90 to 120 seconds i don't exactly know the illusion wand once activated will make one clone of yourself and send it out the direction you are looking so just like the normal gear except it'll make one clone these clones will create breathing sounds and they can be detected. So the first merch version is that it will send one clone out, but it can be detected. So it's like um, an actual player is playing the game. And then of course, they will last until the slasher hits them. So they will also be a one hit and then they'll glitch away. All of these clones are gonna be a one hit. So they'll just glitch away once they get hit. So the first merch's version is that it can be detected. So it's just like another player inside the game. The next merch's version, again, cooldown probably 90 to 120 seconds, somewhere in that time frame. The illusion one, once activated, 
will make one clone of yourself and send it out the direction you are looking. This clone creates breathing sounds and cannot be detected. So this one will not be detected. I don't know why I had to like reinstate that when I just said it couldn't be detected. Once the slasher reaches the clone, it will send out a sonar ping to the illusion wand holder, not to everyone in the game, just to the person using the illusion wand. So basically it'll send out a clone, creates breathing sounds, just like an audio player. But then once the slasher actually reaches the clone's proximity, it will send a sonar ping to the person with the wand and it lets them know where the slasher is. Again, they will last until the slasher hits them. The clone will be a one hit and it will glitch away. The third and final merch's version here. Cooldown time, 90 to 120 seconds. Once activated, makes a clone of yourself, direction you are looking. This clone will create breathing sounds, but can't be detected as well. This version of the wand allows you to switch places with the clone at any time. And once you switch places with that clone, it will glitch away. And this will last until the slasher hits it. Again, clones a one hit, it'll glitch away. So basically with this version, you'll send out a clone of yourself. It'll make breathing noises, whatever, to start walking around the map or just walk in the direction you're looking. We don't exactly know yet. If we sent it out the direction you're looking and then it happens just to wander all over the map, that'd be pretty cool. And then once you activate the ability again, because like you'll activate it at once and then the ability button will be highlighted, but it'll stay full. So basically it'll allow you to use the ability again to go ahead and switch places with the clone at any time you want. And then once you switch places, it'll go away. Of course, this is going to be like insanely risky. We're trying to think of like, so an alien slasher has an ability that could teleport around the map. And that's pretty much the only ability inside of this game that deals with like actually launching yourself to another section of the map so we tried to go ahead and create something like that as a gear for a survivor but not insanely overpowered like alien of course because he can actually place wherever he wants to teleport around the map we don't exactly know yet if this merch's version you'll be able to see your clone walk around the map so then you can know when to switch places with him or if it'll just be random because if it is random then you'll know your slasher actually hits your clone if the ability button isn't highlighted anymore and starts to recharge then you'll know hey the slasher actually took out my clone and we can't go ahead and switch places with him anymore otherwise you'll have to like have a highlighted version of your clone walking around the map something similar to like ghosting if you have two ghosts inside of a match you can see each other by like a highlighted icon so i wonder if there could be like a highlighted you know clone icon that shows him where he is but not exactly where he is just in like a general direction of where the clone is maybe it could be something like that i don't know but those are the three merch's versions that we came up with for this illusion wand i think the third version for this that one that we just talked about for you know transporting around the map i think would be pretty cool we do have a perk and then we just have the sonar gear as well that deals with you know sending sonar pings so maybe not another you know gear that would go ahead and do that and then for the first one of course the first merch's version it's just that the clone can be detected so uh one or three sounds like a really cool idea we do have a lot of sonar pings for the second version like we said before so probably not that one but that is the concept gear that we came up with so if you guys have anything like we said before go ahead drop it down in the comments down below i will be reading them on this video i'll try to read the most that i can do you guys think this is an interesting gear and do you think this is something that could possibly hop into survive the night let me know okay let me know everything down below all right thank you guys for that thank you for all the support as well but anyways guys that's gonna be it for me my name is jmt and i will see you in the next one peace out guys